Look how wicked that is. Dude, look how freaking wicked that is, man. Never would have thought that I'd be getting stuff like that. Let's go, Shanky Mania! Go Shanky, go Shanky, the sky scraping Shanky. Spirit him inside out. He's dragging him. No, no, yes. no, yes. no, yes. no, yes. not like this, yes. not like this, yes. no, 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 yes. <gasps> what? <laughs> I got ice. I, I didn't fall. Let's go. Ouch. I took damage. I nearly did. <sighs> Keep going. Shake it, don't break it. Uh. Bro, you're about to get toy knuckles in your face. You just got toy knuckles in your face, bro. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now, bro? Elimination Chamber Yeezy. Yeezy. You have just gotten us to 1K. We are at 1K follows, guys. We have reached 1K. Spam it. This is a this is a historical moment here in our stream. 1K. Spam it. Spam it. Drake Maverick getting assaulted here by Robert Roode, who's not even the league. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's some content for you. That was a mistake. Uh oh. oh no. Got him! No, 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 no! <laughs> Come on, Ref! Ref! I throw Bro, dude gave me the slow count. Why do you use resistance? Dude gave me the I didn't make it, baby. Bob and I's chemistry picked up like it never left. Hey, whether you've known me as Sneakerhead7070, or Official JRJ, or just simply Josh, today's video is the most important video that I've ever created in my near eight years of content creating. And the reason for that is today, I've decided to put this all behind me. I've decided that it's time that I close the chapter of my life, that I close the doors on doing this and what I mean by that is I will no longer be uploading on this channel I will no longer be live streaming on Twitch it's this is it and this has been a decision that has been a long time in the making this is not an overnight decision this is not um, a fickle decision this is the decision and it's the right decision since May of 2021, I've honestly been just, I don't want to use the term mentally tormented, but I've been in a really rough spot off and on over these last number of months, almost years. And for that, the reason for that is because it was constantly like, do I do this or do I not do this? Do I do this or do I not do this anymore? And that is, do I, you know, do I keep, making videos or do I not um, and let me be more specific what I mean by that is making WWE 2k wrestling videos that's 
all I've done as the main form of content since, again, May of 2015. That's when I started on Twitch. A lot of you only know me for my short time here on YouTube, but I've been doing this almost eight years now, and um, it, this is it, man. And I, I, I want you guys to know one thing. I am not sad. I am not mad. I am relieved, and I am happy. Um, over these last number of months, I've really become a shell of myself. And what I mean by that is I would, you know, say I'm doing this and I don't do that, or I would lose interest in things super quickly. That's never really how I've operated. It's never really how I've rolled in life. Um, but that's what's happened. And I would say, you know, part of that is, you know, we, you know, stopped doing universe mode, uh, within the 2k games back, uh, it's been a while now i don't remember exactly the date but uh you know things started shifting um well over a year ago and i would say around that point um you know trying to figure things out as far as you know content here on youtube goes and what works and what doesn't um through that journey you know i've come up with ideas and i've talked with my friends and i believe those ideas were good i believe that they could have succeeded but was my passion in it? Was my love in it? You know, was I motivated for it? No, the, the, the answer is no. Um, I would have these little kind of flames of excitement and everything, you know, those little flames could even last up to a month or whatever. But then it's back to square one. Do I do this? Do I not do this? And um, to be completely blunt, to keep it a buck, man, it's because I was too much in my own will trying too much to do what i wanted to do for those that don't know i am a firm believer in jesus christ my lord and savior and unashamedly so so um over these last number of months i was definitely gravitating into more and more of like this becoming you know a selfish ambition or selfish motivations or motivations that are, were not my initial intent whether it be money fame whatever um some may look at it like, oh you're just a small youtube channel or just a small twitch channel maybe yes yes that is correct but i have grown deeply with a lot of people in this community um some that you know maybe lifelong friendships i've accomplished a lot in my period of time and I say I've accomplished a lot because I've accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish. And when I started, you know, on Twitch back in 2015, um, you know, it was just kind of a hobby. I started with pen and, and paper and an Xbox One. Uh, my sister would help me keep track of the chat um, because back then, man, interactive universe mode was booming, bro. It was booming on Twitch. And so in that point in time, you know, I mean, our first couple streams, we grew up to like 100 followers and things were moving fast. And so it was very, it was kind of humble beginning, so to speak, you know, um, like I said, just pen, paper and an Xbox. Um, and from there, you know, I started having goals and those goals were to, you know, get the new 2K game for free or whether it be going on trips, uh, being affiliated with 2K, um, all those different things. Um, and well up you know and we started making some money off over on twitch and we started um to really grow because when i you know bought my first pc in uh 2017 things really started taking off from there man you know we've got affiliated with uh twitch and it had a really strong core community and a lot of those you know once they got into high school and, and uh kind of moved on in life you know i think that's when um more and more it became less personal if you will like um it's just a lot of those people that we kind of started this thing with started me started growing distant whatever and um so from that point um you know let's fast forward to 2020 you know pandemic hits and we're all here at home and it was a great time to be a content creator um you know i put I remember, I think it was the start of 2020, I want to say, boom, we put out um, a WWE draft video for our series, and it, it just absolutely explodes, man. Like, that was the point. Like, if I really wanted to hone down, we could have really taken off there, but we didn't. And, you know, that would be on me, honestly. But then, you know, 
going forward to 2021 is when all these goals were attained you know we got brought in um to 2k and i this video i want to make sure i thank those that have helped me along the way and i apologize if i forget anybody but the first one i'll thank you know is um someone by the name of cammy uh she'll probably never see this video she's no longer with 2k but she was the one who kind of gave me that first big opportunity and brought me in to um 2k and we we were brought in literally at the launch of the next makers program something new and uh it was growing it was great um Albeit it was not everything that I had hoped, but I'm still forever grateful. And with that, you know, we get the games for free and then we're going out to Las Vegas for SummerSlam in 2021. And that was mind blowing. We meet the president of 2K, all these executives. We're hanging out with Drew McIntyre, The Miz, Matt Riddle, uh, Randy Orton's walking by, Omos, and all these different people were at the top of the Delano Hotel, and I always love sharing the story because while I'm not a Vegas guy, you know, I wasn't out there doing Vegas things, I just, it was just kind of a fulfilling moment, it's like, wow, we're here, man, like, I don't belong here, like, I remember sitting in the, the lobby of the hotel, and my name was on a VIP list, and I was too nervous to even go up to the people, I kept seeing, like, the side door, like, people going up to the hotel, and I'm like, this doesn't feel like it's not me man but it was still, still so cool eventually you know kind of choked down my pride if you will and uh we went up to the top of the hotel so great time there and then you know we get contracted to 2k you know i'm just kind of pulling the curtain back because this is my you know hurrah so uh just again pulling back the curtain you know i signed the dotted line on the contract and um that was i mean the money was an extreme blessing to my life last year um and so um you know i did not get to do everything that i had hoped to do with that within that contract because it's, it's like all these different things like, you know finally meet success and all these cool things and it's like nothing it's like you know obviously i would get excited and stuff but like it's still in the back of my heart just like this feeling of just numbness and, and you know emptiness and so um again in 2021 having all these conflicting thoughts and just always off and on but that's why i could never stick with anything once we like close the doors on universe mode which i'm so proud of um we ended up out on our SummerSlam pay-per-view um and that is probably my favorite video ever man it's uh it did extremely well with analytics but just it was like everything that i had was trying to tell in a story it just came to a culmination i'm so happy that that was the final th piece of art you know in that chapter of our you know content creating career if you will and but so with that you know having these thoughts like do i do this or do i not do this anymore um it really just this past um sunday i believe yeah about a week or so ago now um i kind of met a you know bottom point if you will a low point is better wording but um and with that i'm like okay god you want a decision uh, you know i've i've been fighting this decision and you want a decision all right i'm done um i can happily walk away saying i've accomplished all my goals i've everything that i wanted to do i've done and once i met those goals another part of this whole process was like what do i want to do now i don't know man like, I really don't know. So, um, you know, I have no, nothing else to accomplish. You know, my whole goal was to get into this. And, you know, um, as we progress, I wanted to share more and more of uh, my faith in Jesus Christ. Because when I started this journey, you know, I considered myself a Christian, but I did not fully commit my life to Jesus. And um, as that process began to speed up and as I, you know, started committing my life more and more to him, I wanted to bring him into my videos. I wanted to, you know, share the gospel. I wanted to share the word. And, um, you know, I've never fully come out and spoken a lot of these details, but uh, unashamedly, man, uh, it's time, you know, the whole reason why I'm making the decision is because I want to start following in his will. I want to follow in, you know, what he wants me to do. Um, and a lot of people have this, I think, perception of Christians, oh, you know, they're this way or they're that way, or they, they're hateful yada yada no man um i think you're just running into the wrong people um honestly and so uh, i want to dedicate my life to him and um part of that is i, I can't do this anymore because i 
I reach a ceiling in what I can do. I can't just put in a bunch of Jesus in a video when everyone's coming into wrestling, you know? So it, it, I don't know, it's very hard to do, but I'm going down a different path now. And again, I'm forever grateful for, you know, what this channel has brought me and just the wrestling community in general. Um, going back to, and I, I know I'm all over the place with this, it is what it is. Um, there's no way I can create it any other way. <laughs> so going back to thank yous, I want to thank um, a lot of people here. Um, I'm thanking my um, group of friends that um, I've gotten the pleasure of meeting with, except all, all but one I've gotten to meet um, in person. You know, excuse me, there's, there's a couple in there I haven't met in person, but um, a good bit of them I've gotten to meet. Um, so, and a lot, and I, I still consider myself friends with them all. And again, some of these are like lifelong friendships and, um, you know, Lord willing. But Jesse, J Beats, um, he's been uh, with me since 2016. Um, and he's <laughs> become um, one of my best friends as much as we may get on each other's nerves or whatever we've always come back to our friendship with one another and he has been a, a great blessing in my life and I hope I can be that in his um, you know this is I don't have to give all the details away but he, he knows uh, we've got a long history um, and Matthew, uh, worldwide, MJP, Mr. Math Space. Uh, oh, I forgot to say with Jesse, can't forget the infamous The Beat Streams name. Um, but yeah, my friend Matthew, you know, he, he came in around the t time that Jesse did, and he's been one of those that's gotten on my last nerves. Yet we've always come back to our friendship, and um, you know, he's he's definitely someone who uh, I consider a, a close friend, and uh, I've gotten to meet both him and Jesse. In fact, we've gotten to hang out at the exact same time, which is pretty cool. Um, my friend Bob, um, the, it's the Bob Sled. Unfortunately, I've not gotten to meet him, but hey, never say never. Um, and all these guys I'm listing are those that I, I mean, we consistently are gaming it up together and stuff like that. So uh, Bob's literally been with me since before I started streaming and uh, I'm forever grateful for his support. Uh, and uh, I do have a, a, a lot of love for him. And um, next up, is Trey, um, a guy who, when he started watching my videos, was 11 years old, um, and now this dude is taller than me, and uh, has got a bigger beard than me, but um, <laughs> he's uh, he's grown tremendously too, man, uh, in his walk with Jesus Christ. Is, uh, I'm, I'm so happy to see that. I really am, and I know we're going to uh, continue to grow as friends and um, grow as followers in, in Jesus, but uh, I'm so thankful for all those guys. Um, Murph's YT13, um, I'm forever grateful for your support um, and just the endless hours of listening to my, you know, babbling of what, you know, could do from, I mean, we, we've been friends since 2018, I believe it was, um, and you've been a great supporter of mine uh, and someone I always know I can talk to when with anything but really you know coming down to content and stuff and i hope we will remain friends i do um mr pro jakes pro jacked is what i used to call him but he's uh he's <laughs> a lot has changed in his life recently but um he is the same as you know i consider him the same when it comes to murphs i know i can talk to about whatever but you know when it comes down to content we've always been able to kind of shoot the breeze with one another but uh, i'm forever grateful for our time with one another again i hope we will continue to keep in contact as well um man i know i know i'm missing names but uh you know from key in to um uh kobe uh copster as others know him um and and there's there's a lot of people that i know i'm missing of course my family has been a great support um and uh first and foremost man jesus christ um None of this is possible without my Lord and Savior. Um, and I'm just, I'm so blessed and grateful, but I, I know this is the right decision. I feel, you, you have no idea. When I made this decision, y'all, there was a tremendous feeling of relief and just this weight was off of me. It's like the sky's the limit now. And I'm so excited. Um, as far as my next intentions in life, over these next couple months or so, I plan to 
work on myself to um, get into better shape physically, mentally, and spiritually. I've put, even though I keep talking about Jesus, I've put him on the back burner in a lot of ways to this. This has become um, so demanding in my life with creating wrestling videos that it, you know, um, it's it's been my main focus, unfortunately. And so um, I'm excited just to grow as a person all around um, over these next couple months. What the future holds, I don't know. I do have, you know, uh, desires. Whether or not I'm involved in wrestling again in the future, I don't know, man. Um, there's a lot of cool things I think would be fun to do, but when it comes to WB2K gaming and making gaming videos, I can tell you uh, this is it. This is not um, a work. This is a shoot, brother. <laughs> this is it, man. Uh, I'm so pleased and, you know, proud of what we've been able to accomplish. But uh, I really want to create content around faith, culture, entertainment, and all these different things. And so one day, We'll jump into that and maybe our paths will cross again. But uh, on to getting into better shape physically. I want to show you guys something here. Um, there's a picture of me in 2017. That was um, a couple years after you know I started content creating. But um, from there, um, over these last few years, you, as you can tell, your boys put out a little bit of weight, man. And so um, from there, you know, this is present. Uh, you know, repping Team Jesus there, but just showing you guys, I mean, I've literally grown up on this platform and doing all these different things. So um, I've never not done it. I put a lot of important things that should have been before content. I put it on the back burner things that's, you know, one thing in particular I'll forever regret. Um, and I have no way of going back and fixing that, but um, you know, that uh, it is what it is. Um, but you know man i mean from all these different moments with uh over these last few years i want to throw some up on the screen for you guys um <laughs> up there in the top left uh i mean that's that's jesse with a gge sign that was our community it was global gaming entertainment we you know that was it for us that was that was what we were known for and he brought it to a wrestling show i thought that was the coolest thing ever meeting our truth and going to some of my first wrestling events with some of my closest friends going to las vegas and uh niagara falls st louis uh numerous royal rumbles and all these fun opportunities um but uh i mean i'm just forever grateful i i got my first car last year which is something i think a lot of you guys did not know about um and uh, good old Bob Ross is on the screen there. I don't have a picture of Bob, so I'm, <laughs> I'm throwing him up there. But uh, forever grateful, man. Uh, forever, forever grateful for these moments and these opportunities. Um, but um, I know this is a very long video, and I'm fine with it because this is our final video. I want to show you guys some stuff that, uh, for those that have been around for a little while, might bring back some memories. So... Um, First off, this is something that I uh, love, and it's kind of like, you know, we're officially official. So um, here's this right here. This was the tag for when I got into the 2K Next Makers program. So I thought it was the coolest thing. It was actually part of the jacket that we got. Um, but then um, these shades right here, man. You might remember a man. This is uh, all I wore on stream for many, many years. And uh, I retired them a long time ago. But actually, I wear them very frequently during the day. So they become a part of my life once more. But um, yeah, man, these shades were kind of one of my trademarks, if you will. Um, this right here was uh, my high school basketball jersey. Uh, it's actually my second one. I've got the other one, but this was my more recent one. Number 24, man. The reason why I bring it out is because uh, basketball is a big part of my life in high school. Played varsity ball. And um, I shared a lot of that with the community of people that I was uh, with when I was streaming and such. All right. So here's uh, an oldie but a goodie. This was our first piece of merchandise, the GGE hoodie. Uh, shout out to my boy, Jesse. He created that. Um and uh, forever grateful for that, and I will never get rid of it. Um, also, once again, shout out to Jesse. Um, here's another second piece of merchandise when we change the logo, the GGE logo. <laughs> I will never go back to that phrase where we stay litty and the grind don't stop. But uh, 
it's a part of uh, who I am and a part of our history together. Uh, official squad, I love, I still love this quote and it's changed the culture, changed the game, changed the world, man. Again, I'll never get rid of it. I will cherish this forever. Last, but certainly not least, something that I will still continue to represent and it's almost like a trophy to me. Um, and that, my friends, would be, if I can find the logo, on it um, is you know our official 2k jacket man this was our next makers jacket that 2k sent out to me at the launch of the program and I'm forever grateful that I was a part of this because I would have been super jealous if I didn't get one of these bomber jackets but at the same time again it's a feeling of accomplishment and this is a trophy of you know job well done um, through all the highs and the lows and um, I will forever hold on to something like this and uh, in fact with a lot of these things I'm going to be creating some sort of space um, to kind of pay homage to that but I'm a very um, I don't know I I'm very uh, when it comes to these when it comes to items and materialistic items uh, I, I don't want to say I'm a materialistic guy but like I when it comes to accomplishments and like that jacket and all that type of stuff like I I get attached to stuff like that and um, I'm, I'm happy to have it, all of that and hopefully that was some beautiful <laughs> memories for some of you guys but um, again you know I, I've already kind of shed some of my tears um, when I first told my family um, so had I not have done that I probably would have been crying a little bit on here but uh, not for sad reasons for happy reasons. I'm happy to close this chapter of my life and I want to thank you guys so much for being a part of it um, I hope I'm not missing anything I cuz I'll think about it later on and I won't get the opportunity to say it again, but um, I Will um, you know, I'm not gonna be ghosts and everybody if I have you on discord um, Or Twitter, you know hit me up message me whenever you want um, I you know Close friends, um, they know who they are, man. Um, I'm always a message away. I'll continue to game it up with them. We're gonna, we're gonna continue to be close friends, um, but I just won't be doing this anymore. So, um, one day, maybe you'll come across my new channel whenever that time comes. Um, and, uh, but it'll be tremendously different from what we're doing now. Um, I'll continue to be a fan of pro wrestling, um, and. Um, just to be keeping a buck with you, man. Um, I don't know that I'll be somebody that's going to be watching a, lo a lot, you know, a lot of WWE 2K content. And uh, I obviously want to show support to my friends that do continue to create that. But um, over these last couple days, I would have gotten this video out a couple days ago. Um, but you know, I started watching different videos and stuff, and it, you know, there's definitely still that interest and that love there. But I know this is the right decision, and I cannot go back when I watch, you know. Um, 2k videos like it, it gets those juices flowing again and i i can't it's hard to watch it and then go back to the thoughts like oh you know i could do this yada. i i don't know um but uh, again you know maybe you'll see me at wrestling shows and stuff i'm excited just to be a fan again like a kid man like a kid once again you know i can just sit not get too attached to it you know i found myself too much involved in the business side of things when it come when it came to wrestling because i was always looking at the rumors to see who's coming to WWE or who's who's not to know what i'm doing with my content my videos and honestly it just kind of some of that stuff is depressing man i it, it really is it gets it, it took up so much of my mental space and now i'm thankful i can just sit back and watch it on tv but anyways thank you guys so much for your support um i love y'all and uh i'm thankful for the opportunity and the moments that we've gotten to share this has been such an influential part of my life um and the sky's the limit for the future i'm excited and the biggest message that i want to leave with you guys is that you have to know when to let go of something unfortunately for me i was so stubborn i could have made this decision a long time ago but it is what it is um you have to know when to let go of something when you know that you've kind of done everything you can do and um it gets to the point of it almost like a chore and not passion anymore you've got to let go man you have to it's you're never going to be happy doing it if you were if it just becomes a chore it, you're really not and i say this from experience man i say this from experience i used to always tell people you have to have joy 
passion and motivation for this and any one of those things and you have to have love for it any one of those things that are if you don't have them man, the whole train you can forget about it just the train derails um and yeah man so that's my message is um don't live doing something you know don't live and do something that you are miserable with and you know no longer have a passion and a love for it and uh don't you know don't let the world change you don't let the world this world is extremely toxic this world is dark man and uh look for the good look for the good and um stand strong in your convictions and your morals and um i hope i've been able to be some sort of positive influence to anybody over these last few years because that's the biggest thing i wanted to accomplish and do um so thank you guys for the memories thank you guys for the support and uh i'll see you guys on the other side man um again this is not a sad video this is a happy video um so that being said as always y'all you're loved you matter god bless y'all deuces Word light. This uh. yeah uh-huh uh-huh